THE TREE WHO DREAMED OF THE SEA CHAPTER 15 THE MIRROR Eons later, Leafy's beating on the cliffs suddenly ceased. "'Your punishment is over, Baldy,' said the sea. "'Thank God,' said Leafy. "'Thank me,' replied the sea. "'It was all for your own good.' "'Now look at yourself,' she said, making a mirror of waves, so that Leafy could see himself as others saw him. He looked and saw an old log. No leaves, no branches, no roots, no bark, just smooth toughened wood, bleached to the lightest of gray colors. One immense cylinder, thick around the center, and very, very long. Straight, said the sea. I've seldom created a log so straight. That's because I was always stretching to see you, said Leafy. I am very proud of the polishing work I have done on you, Baldy. You are the best log I have made in centuries. But I look so old, moaned Leafy. Yes, of course, that's part of your beauty. You are now a tree who has seen it all, who has had every knock life can give. Yet still you are straight and strong. Of course you look old. Experience, especially the hard kind, can age us very quickly. Yes, you do grow up fast in the rapids, agreed Leafy. And those cliffs, I must have aged a hundred years in a couple of weeks there. Yes, I'd say so, agreed the sea. And look how handsome all that experience makes you look. Leafy took another look at himself in the mirror she was making for him and found that she was right. He looked awfully old, all right, but quite nice, too. Not scary and still strong. And now he looked the second time, and he liked what he saw. Old Baldy, he said, what a transformation. You sure do know how to change someone. Thank you ever so much for the compliment, said the sea, and suddenly strong currents seized Leafy and dragged him towards the west. I wonder where she's taking me now, thought Leafy. I'm taking you to Boat Cove, said the sea, reading his thoughts. I'm going to beat you there. I wonder what your fate will be, my beautiful log. Actually, I have a feeling about that, but we'll just wait and see. End of chapter 15